All right. Uh, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a peace and greetings and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in their faith, you know, being diligent in this truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash, you know, Adoran uh, Rathazah, you know, that means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. My lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, Bahashem, Rakakudash, is going to be basically on how the Lord is going to gather the elect right, from the four corners of the earth, all right, the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, and the nation of Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers. All right, they may look like the other nations, all right, but their lineage go back to the 12 tribes, all right, according to their father. And the Lord is going to gather the elect of the nation of Israel because one of the curses that came upon our people was that we was going to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and the Lord was going to take us from from off our land, all right, which the Lord, I promised the land, the land of Israel, all right, which was the land of Canaan, all right, when we came, when we came out of Egypt, all right, when we dwelled in the wilderness, all right, because of the disobedience, and eventually the Lord brought us into the land of Canaan, and we destroyed the, the wicked inhabitants, the, those Hamites, those, those Canaanites, all right, and we possessed the land, you know, all right, when uh, Moses, when the Lord used Moses to take us out, you know, then we had Joshua, all right, to bring us in the land. And then the Lord, all right, Joshua, all right, gave each tribe their, their land, all right. But we sinned against the Lord and the Lord spewed us out the land, which was a curse. And now we're scattered amongst all these nations, all right, looking like the other nations, all right, acting like these heathens, all right. But the Lord has a remnant that's coming back to him, that's cleaving back to the to the most high you know through the spirit and power of the by shema the lord set his holy spirit out all right through the teaching of this word the scriptures talk about the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe all right so our people were scattered but now the lord is gathering us this is what could do to Romans chapter 28 and verse 1 and it shall come to pass if thou if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the lord thy god our lord thy god which the heavenly father name is yahweh and his son name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he to be or he is this. And his only begotten son name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai means he savior, he deliver. All right. I'll read again. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass if thou sh shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God, Yahweh, will set thee on high above all nations. All above all nations of the earth. So we could listen and we hearken unto the Lord. We we kept his laws. All right. All right. The Lord said he was going to bless us above all these nations. All right. But this is one of the so the curses one through 14. All right. Those are the blessings. But this is the curse. All right. Because we made an agreement with the Lord. Verse six. I mean, verse 15. Deuteronomy 20 and 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee so all these curses was going to come upon thee alright and who was the book of Deuteronomy written to Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1 these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness over the plain against the Red Sea between Paran and Top Top Topel to fell, all right, and Laban and Hazroth and Diz Dihad Dizahad, all right. So these were the words that the Lord that Moses spake to the children of Israel, all right. So let's go to those curses. So this, this book, the agreement, all right, if you will listen, or if you won't listen, that was all to Israel, all right. But we didn't listen, and this was one of the curses, Deuteronomy 28 and verse there was 65.
63. Deuteronomy 28, 63. It says, And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoice over you to do you good and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught, and shall so, and ye shall be plucked from off the land where thou go goest to possess it. So the Lord said he's gonna destroy us, all right, not the whole nation, he's gonna judge us in number. All right, because the Lord made a promise with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that our seed was gonna be a everlasting seed. All right. So he's gonna judge us. He says, And ye shall be plucked from off the land where thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there shalt thou serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So we are going to be scattered amongst all nations, right, from one end of the earth to another. All right. That was one of the curses. All right. So now all right, we are scattered. Let's get that. Let's get uh, Baruch. Believe is Baruch because we are yet this day in our captivity. This is Baruch 3. Bear with me. Yep. This is Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. So we in captivity now. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all that all according to the all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord thy power. So we are yet this day in our captivity. All right. And the Lord is going to gather us. All right. From where we are scattered at. All right. Lord said a remnant. Uh, shall I return? Bear with me. It's the book of uh, Isaiah. Bear with me. Isaiah chapter 10. In verse 20, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more stay upon him that smote them. Talking about Esau. All right, the Lord ain't going, we're not going to stay upon him. All right, the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, is going to deliver us. But shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. In truth, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, Yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption degree shall overflow with righteousness. So though our people be as the sand of the sea, only a remnant going to return. All right. The elect. All right. The scriptures talk about the elect. All right. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 45 in verse 4. For Jacob, my servant, say in Israel, mine elect, have I called thee by thy name? I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. So the elect is Israel. All right. Isaiah 65 and 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah and inheritor of my mountains. Mine elect shall inherit it and my servant shall dwell there. So this is all about the elect, man. All right, Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right, Matthew 24 and verse 20, Matthew 24 and 32. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to another. All right, let's go to that. Let's get more on that. Matthew 24, because this is a heavy scripture. In verse 29, Matthew 24 and 29 says, Immediately after the tribulations of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. This is our Lord Yahweh. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn 
And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. This is how our Lord Yahweh shall coming back with an innumerable amount of angels. And he, by the way, is war with the armies of the world. He's going to defeat them. In America, Babylon, the great, Babylon the great, which is America, the daughter of Babylon, is going to be destroyed by fire. All right. And the Lord is going to send laser beams to this place, pursuant to the book of uh, Zechariah, the fifth chapter. Said low Zechariah said Zechariah said low a, a flying roll, and this the, be the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth, and it's going to enter into the house of the thief here in America, man. All right, and this place is never going to be inhabited by humans. This place is going to be a place where desert creatures. All right, just how the Lord overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and there's nothing inhabited there. This is a, the same way America going to go down. All right, by fire. All right, by those thermonuclear fire and the laser fire. All right, Matthew 24 and 31. And, it shall, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So the elect is scattered from one end of the earth into another. All right, this is the book of James, chapter 1, in verse 1. It says, James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord, Yahweh shall Hamashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. Hold on. All right. So this is the 12 tribes scattered abroad. All right. As we read in the, as we read, I was one of the curses that, that the Lord is going to put on our people, man. All right. So let's get to um, Revelation 7. And I'm going to come back to that. Isaiah. Revelation 7, verse 1. It says, And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. That the wind should not blow on the earth, nor hurt the sea or any, so nor on the sea, nor on a tree, or nor on any tree. And this is talking about a destroying wind, those thermonuclear fire. And I saw another angel stand, ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, whom, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and hurt the sea. Verse 3, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Meaning the, the elect is being sealed with his wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and the name of the Lord, the 100% truth. All right. Starting with the 144,000, which is the prophets out here prophesying. All right. Which they're going to have, they're going to be sealed. All right. With the, as it says in Ezekiel 9 and 4, the mark of exemption. The Thawa. Alright? Because when this destruction happens, the elect is going to be delivered from it. Verse 3. Saying, hurt not the earth. Revelation 73. Saying, hate, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah was sealed 12,000. The tribe of Judah, Judah you so-called Negroes. Of the tribe of Benjamin was, Benjamin was sealed 12,000, which the tribe of Benjamin are you so-called Seminole Indians. Of the tribe of Gad was sealed 12,000. Gad are you so-called North American Indians. Of the tribe of Asher was sealed 12,000, so-called Colombian to Uruguay, all right, down there in uh, South America. The so-called uh, so Brazilians. Of the tribe of Natalin was sealed to a thousand. Talking about Chile, Chile to Argentina. All right. It says, continuing on, it says of the tribe of Manasseh was sealed to a thousand, which are you so-called Cubans. All right. Verse seven. It says of the tribe of Zebulun was sealed to a thousand. Zebulun are you so-called Guatemalans to Panamanians. All right, El Salvadorians. He says of the tribe of Joseph was sealed 12,000. All right, the tribe of Joseph, are you so called uh, Puerto Ricans? All right, you can read that in numbers. Let me get that. Numbers. Numbers one. Bear with me. Numbers 
Numbers 1 and 32. And of the children of Joseph, namely of the children of Ephraim, by their generations after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. So of the children of Joseph, namely of the children of Ephraim. All right. So when it says Joseph in Revelation 7, it's talking about the Ephraimites, so-called Puerto Ricans. Continuing on in verse 8. Of the tribe of Benjamin was sealed to a thousand Benjamin, you so-called West Indians, so-called so um, uh, Jamaicans, Bahamians, Guyanese, Trinidadians, all right, and those islands, all right, what was it, St. Lucia, verse 9, it says, then this is a stumbling block right here, it says, verse 9, it says, after these I beheld a low, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all the nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne, before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. So this says, a great multitude, which no man can number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues. Which the Christian church, they try to use it as saying everyone can be delivered. But the scriptures say the Lord is going to deliver his elect. And we read in the book of Isaiah that the elect is the, of the children of Israel. All right. So who is this great multitude? All right, this is the Israelite foreigners that were scattered amongst the nations. So let's prove it. Revelation 5 and verse 8. No, nope. Revelation 5 and Salachia. Verse 9. And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wert slain and hast redeemed us to the Most High by thy blood out of every kindred, in tongue, in people, in nation. This is our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right. Open the seals, dying on the cross to open the seals so we can have the mystery. All right. All right. And have a way to return to, to the Heavenly Father because he was the ultimate sacrifice. So the Lord said he has redeemed us to the most high by the, by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nations. It has made us unto our power, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Who was this covenant given to that we was going to be kings and priests? It, Exodus 19 and verse, bear with me. Got to, got to, got to. Got to go precept upon precept. Yep. Um, Exodus 19 and verse 5. Exodus 19 and verse 3. Exodus 19 and 1. In the third month when the children of Israel were going forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. For they were departed from Rephidim, and were come to the desert of Sinai and had pitched in the wilderness and there Israel camped before the mount. And Moses went up to Yahweh and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob and tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself, unto myself, brought you unto myself. Verse 5, Therefore, now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then shall ye, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine verse 6 and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel so he's going to be a holy nation and a, a, a kingdom of priests all right so the Lord said well, he had made us kings and priests and we shall do it reign on the earth so this was given to the children of Israel I believe it's in Peter also Second Peter one, I believe. Second Peter two. Oh, first Peter, bear with me. Yeah, this is a. Uh, First Peter 2 and verse 4, it says, To whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the most high precious, ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the most high by Yahweh Shai, by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, so we are holy priesthood. All right. All right. Talking about the children of Israel.
Revelation 1 and 6 is that it says, And have made us kings and priests unto the heavenly father and his unto the most high and his father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So we are the kings and priests. All right. And those we are the ones who are scattered of all those nations that's gonna the Lord is gonna return and deliver. So this is the book of uh Jeremiah chapter 16. In verse 15, Jeremiah 15 and 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel, the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, because this that the ancient our Egyptian captivity that we was under, the Lord got us out with a mighty arm. He sent plagues upon Egypt and he defeated the armies of Pharaoh. All right, and he brought us out. All right, the Gulf of Suez, we'll just say the Red Sea. All right, and all the nations heard it and they trembled and they feared. But this time, verse 5, it says, But the Lord liveth. So that this is going to no longer say, This no longer going to be said, The Lord liveth that brother of the children of Israel from the land of Egypt. All right, which that's why we serve, that's why we celebrate the Passover. But this is now is going to be a new Passover. This, this uh, deliverance, verse 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north here in America and from all the lands where he had driven them. And I will bring them again into the land that I have given unto their fathers. So the Lord is going to gather us from where he has scattered us and he's going to bring us back to the land. All right. And I'll end off with this. Isaiah, was it 10? Isaiah 11. Isaiah 11 in verse 10, it says, In that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign for the people, our Lord Yahushua. To it shall the Gentiles seek, meaning the Israelite foreigners, and his rest shall be glorious. All right. Verse 11 says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand a second time to recover the remnant of his people. The second time going back, like this deliverance. All right. The first all right, deliverance was ancient Egypt. This is the second time. All right, this deliverance in these times, the uh, time to recover the remnant of his people, which the remnant, the elect. All right, though I, though we be as a Santa seed, seed, a remnant shall return, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elon and from Sinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the disperse of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim, Ephraim shall not envy Judah and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. All right. So the Lord is going to gather the elect of the 12 tribes and he's going to bring us back in the land. And the Lord, he's going to put the law, statute, commandments in our inward part and those curses that was upon us that make us scatter the lord is gonna i erase those curses from off us and he's gonna put them on the other nations started with esau edom and after a thousand years of hardcore bondage i these hard these these nations go into hardcore bondage on us i because we served them all right the curses was that we're gonna be sold to our enemies and all these nations had a part of our destruction but now the table is gonna turn and we're gonna be the head and they're gonna be the tail and after a thousand years of hardcore bondage, Esau eating the so-called white people nation, so-called white people, which they're red, they're the descendants of Esau. They're going to be eradicated by fire in the kingdom of heaven. All right. After a thousand years and, and these other nations, they're going to go back to their lands that the Lord gave them. But they're going to always be tributaries unto us. All right. We're going to rule over them. All right. And they're going to be subject to us, man. You know, so the Lord, he's going to gather us. And he's going to put us in the land and we're never going to sin again. And we're going to live forever. And right? we're going to continue praising Yahweh Bashi Masha forever and ever and ever. The water Yahweh Bashi Masha. You know, so Lord, when in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakurash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwa. And I want to give up peace, greetings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. That's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, I can keep pushing, keep doing. Shalom.